Good morning! Welcome to Anatomy 43. It's a continuation of our lesson on the first rib. This is our first rib. And the first rib. And that's a bigger first rib. Before we continue, let's talk about the word ridge. Ridge, and this is how it is spelled. Ridge. Like a mountain ridge. For instance, this is a mountain with its pine trees. So this is the ridge of the mountain. A ridge means a continuous elevated crest for some distance. This is the mountain ridge. Now going back to the first rib. The superior surface of the first rib has a slight ridge in this portion. But it's not as tall as this one. It's not, uh, it's not as sharp at, as this one. It's a slight ridge. It's very faint. And it's in this skeletal model, it's not really very well formed. So I encourage you to check on your anatomy textbooks and look into the illustrations of the superior surface of the first rib. So there's a slight ridge here. Very slight, very faint which usually ends at the internal border as a tiny pointed projection called the scalene tubercle to which a muscle is attached. The muscle is called the anterior scalene muscle. So these are the terms that I have mentioned today, ridge, scalene tubercle, and anterior scalene muscle. Scalene tubercle is the small projection that we can see on the internal border of the first rib. And the anterior scalene muscle is the muscle that is attached in this portion of the first rib. So this is the slight ridge which ends at the internal border as a tiny point and projection called the scalene tubercle. Thank you. I have just one question for this lesson. What do you call this small pointed projection on the internal border of the first rib thank you let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen we thank you for this lesson amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen merry christmas